For years, India's defense program had one missing piece, a story that remained incomplete. A vulnerability the adversaries never missed a chance to mock. We had the potential to build world-class fighter jets, but when it came to the heart of the aircraft, the engine, we always had to rely on foreign suppliers. Whether it was the United States, Russia or Europe, engine dependence was a persistent roadblock. But now, that narrative has changed. India has quietly executed a top-secret program that doesn't just promise to place the country among the world's leading defense powers. It's enough to keep its adversaries, especially China and Pakistan, awake at night. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. We request our viewers to please subscribe this channel as a lot of hard work goes into bringing you these updates. And if we don't get enough likes and subscribes, then it makes little sense to put in this amount of hard work. So let's proceed. Under the direct oversight of the Prime Minister's office, India and France are jointly developing a next-generation fighter jet engine, an engineering marvel so advanced and powerful that it will not only boost India's capabilities but also power two of the most lethal fighter jets of the future. This is a strategic masterstone, flawless and beyond reproach. In this video, we bring you the full story behind this explosive development. So stay tuned and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. So what exactly is this revolutionary engine? And how has it become a game changer for a country once considered late to the race? India's gas turbine research establishment has signed a landmark agreement with Saffron, the globally renowned French aerospace firm, to co-develop a 120 kN thrust class engine for fighter jets. What does 120 kN mean in simple terms? It's the kind of thrust that can lift a 26-ton fighter jet into the skies with ease, like firing a bullet from a gun. This engine is being tailor-made for India's fifth-generation stealth fighter, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, commonly known as AMCA. But now, there's an unexpected twist in this journey, one that has stunned global defense analysts and added a whole new layer of excitement to India's aerospace ambitions. The United States were eagerly anticipating a breakthrough deal on engine technology. But India has closed that chapter. The GE-414 engine program from America is no longer in the picture. Instead, India, in collaboration with France, has successfully tested a powerful 240 kN engine. This powerful new engine is set to become the backbone of India's most ambitious naval aviation project, the twin-engine deck-based fighter, Ted BF. Designed to operate from aircraft carriers like the INS Vikrant and the future INS Vishal, the Ted BF will be a key force in asserting India's dominance at sea. This adjustment aligns the development timelines of the Ted BF and the MCA Mark II engine, allowing both projects to share a common power plant. In simple terms, India will no longer need to develop or procure two separate engines for two different aircraft. A single globally advanced engine will power both the Air Force's AMCA and the Navy's ZBF. Now, let's explore why this deal holds such significance for India. It symbolizes a shift from strategic dependency to strategic autonomy. For decades, India excelled at designing and building fighter jet airframes. But the engine, the heart of the aircraft, always had to come from abroad. This deal marks the beginning of the end of that limitation. When it came to jet engines, India was left with no choice but to rely on foreign suppliers. Engines like the American GE F404 and GE F414 became our go-to options, just as is the case with the initial AMCA Mark I version. This dependency posed a serious risk. Imagine a scenario where during a conflict, the United States decides to withhold engines or spare parts. Our multi-million dollar fighter jets would be rendered useless. 
nothing more than grounded metal shells. To eliminate this vulnerability once and for all, India has taken a bold and historic step. The engine deal with France is far more than a routine commercial agreement. It's a government to government pact backed by the full commitment of both nations. Moreover, the Prime Minister's office has designated this initiative as a national mission mode project, underscoring its significance as not just a defense program, but a matter of national pride. Ensuring its success is now a top priority, with the full might of the Indian state behind it. This is the quiet confidence and self-reliant pride of India that the world is now taking notice of. What we are building is not just an engine, it represents the foundation of some key pillars that will define India's future war doctrine and send a strong message to rivals like China and Pakistan. With both the AMCA and TEDBF powered by the same engine, India's production efficiency will double, maintenance and repair costs will be drastically reduced, and logistics will become far more streamlined, giving India a powerful edge in operational readiness. With the TEDBF weighing in at 26 tons and designed for carrier operations, INS Vikrant will gain true offensive muscle. It will transform from a symbolic naval asset into a formidable strike platform capable of hitting targets deep within enemy territory. The, this engine will support super crews, the ability to fly at supersonic speeds without using afterburners, saving fuel and increasing mission endurance. Its modular design means future upgrades will be easier, keeping India technologically ahead for decades, making it a key enabler for India's sixth generation fighter jets and advanced unmanned combat aerial vehicles. This engine is also ideal for next generation aircraft carriers like the INS Vishal, which will use the Catobar systems, which is catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery system. This capability will transform India into a true blue water navy capable of global power projection. Once proven, this engine could open new defense export markets for India in Southeast Asia, the Middle East and Africa. It will not only strengthen India's position as a defense buyer, but also establish it as a leading defense manufacturer and exporter. Just like the Brahmos missile elevated India's global standing through missile diplomacy, this fighter jet engine will become a powerful tool of engine diplomacy giving India greater influence in global defense and strategic partnerships. In short, the Saffron GTRE partnership is not just a technical agreement. It marks the start of a revolution in India's aerospace landscape. It lays the foundation for a future where India won't just build engines for its own jets, but will become a global hub for cutting-edge propulsion systems. What do you think? Can this one engine truly put India ahead of China? Please share your views in the comments and thanks for watching the video till the end. Jai Hind!